wacky contestants, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into fun house, Pat Sharp! <laughs> A bit of Highland flinging to get me into the weekend. I love it. Another dancing, all oh, singing weekend finance is here. Do you know, I love Friday tea time. Just went to the shop, over to the baker's, said, can I have a wasp? They said, we don't sell wasps, we're a baker's. I said, well, you got one in the window. Here's the fun house! <laughs> and here's the cheerleaders that are a cut above the rest, mainly because they're the only ones we've got. Melanie and Martina. Yeah! the greatest players you'll see on today's show. Bring on the teams! <laughs> Don't tell them they're the only ones, right? No, I Okay, <laughs> right, good. Who have you got, Martina? I have Jessica and Nick from Cheltenham, and they both attend the Cleve Secondary School! Yeah! And what about you, Wigfield? <laughs> I've got Julie and Stuart, and they're from Glasgow, and they attend the Eastwood High School! Yeah! Well, at least if the Reds lose, they won't have far to go home and talk. Because we're doing this in Glasgow, you see. So, hello, Jessica. Hello, Pat. Oh, hello, Jessica. I like all that tally ho 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 What's your funny story about your physical education lesson, PE? Well, I have first lesson. First lesson was PE. Yeah. And I, I put my night off. I forgot to take my night off, and I put my shirt over it. So, you mean you, when you got out of bed? Yeah. You actually put your shirt over your nightie and then went to school, like yeah. that? Yeah. And this is Nick, whose uh, nickname is Pee Wee, because he's the smallest in his brother's football team. Is that right? Yeah, fine. But still pretty good, yeah? And you're into cricket as well. You want to... You, for Gloucester, yeah? Yeah. You play? Yeah. Wow. So you could go all the way and be the uh, the new superstar. I hope so, Pat. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, you won't be able to play for England if you're going to be a superstar, won't you? <laughs> oh, no, you'll be all right. Uh, what about your funny story on your fishing trip? I was fishing with my dad on a river. I struck into a fish, the bank collapsed, and I, went, I did a somersault and went straight into the, into the river. And my dad just laughed at me and told me to get the fishing kit out, he didn't worry about me. That's so right. I just sat there going, get me out, good, Dad. You had a good catch, but nobody caught you. Yeah. Right. And this is Julie Walters, the original Julie Walters, on the show today, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a coup here for Fernhill, who wants to be an actress, just like her namesake. And uh, you have a funny story? Yeah, um, my mum had friends over and they were all telling jokes and I didn't know a joke and I was just three, so I pulled down my pants and everyone laughed. Oh. <laughs> okay, and uh, Stuart Love is here whose hobby is swimming. Yep. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What's your funny story then? Is it about swimming? Yeah, I was shown off to a bunch of girls in Ibiza and I dived into the pool and the shark came down to my ankles. <laughs> I think we're going to have to watch the red team today. <laughs> Good luck to all our players on Funhouse! Yeah! Today's games are gungier, messier and brighter than ever before. They're worth 25 points apiece. The questions are also worth 25 points. You don't have to get messy. Then the Fun Cart Grand Prix worth 25 points for the first team. Across the line with the chicken flag. And then the trip inside the Funhouse. You will win the best power prize ever today, along with all the other goodies that correspond to the tags that you grab. That's what the show's all about, so let's get on, because you're nicked. Come along with me, you look. Come along. <laughs> But why? What have I done? Well, you haven't done anything yet, but you will do in a few seconds' time. We're going to dress them up. As you can see, they are escape convicts at Devil's Island. Now, they've got the arrows on their back, so they know which way to go. They'll all end up in South Arrow. Oh. Okay. No, we can go back. We can go back. We, don't have, we can do it all again, you know. It doesn't get any better. Very simple. Ball and chain, your job to do some porridge, do some time. So we've got real fun out porridge for you. Have a look, just to prove it to you. Oh, it's about this stage I wish I hadn't done that. It's not only freezing cold, but it's really, really gungy. So, once you've got a ball and chain on your leg, you're going to have to cross over like this, so you bang into each other, get over there, grab another ball and chain, put that on the same leg, and keep coming backwards and forwards till you've got as many balls and chains from Devil Island as you can, okay? Easy game, no problem. So we're sorted, on your marks. Get to, oh! It's a you-know-what game. Let's do it! <laughs>
I'm so pleased that game didn't become a muddle. I think we can draw it up. No, I can't get through it. Hang on. You sit on the edge, you'll be all right there. Right, there you go. That was fantastic. It was a great game, but it really did get in a tangle. Now, I'd like to know how the twins are going to work this out, seeing as all the balls are the same colour. Here we go. I suppose you can count what's on their legs, can't you? Yeah, you see? Not just a pretty face. Don't answer that. Right, who's going first then? Shall I? Yes, why not? Right, okay. I've got one, two, three, four! Yeah! And we're going to get a close-up of the yellow just to prove that I don't think they've done it. We got three. Yeah. yeah. So it's red points. Let's rerun the fun. Yeah. Well, Julie just beat Jessica, but it was a fair cop. Key game, three points to the yellows, 25 to the reds. Yeah. Okay, fellas, get ready. Stand by the side. Don't hit the buzzer till you know the answer. What is another word for a convict? Reds. Prisoner. Prisoner is right, yes. Yeah. There you are. You're out of cell block H. Yellows three, reds have 50. Yeah. You know, quite often on this show, they say the guys are the tough ones and the girls aren't. Well, that's what they say about me and the twins. But this time, the players are really going to show just how tough they all are as we head off to the Funhouse Gym. Come on! <laughs> now, a little bit of training for you girls. You see, you girls are going to be in training here on today's show and the boys are going to be your trainers. Where's Jim? Oh, well, this will have to do. Okay, you place on your gear. You're going to get onto the workbench here, okay? Then you're going to give this a quick pull. As you pull this, these will come up. Let me check. Oh, hold on. There you go. That's our funhouse weight. So we've got yellow over here, red over there. Wait for it, wait for it, because up the top are gunge men who will be sending gunge over onto you. Then, because we're going to turn you into a former wrestler, a guy called Giant Haystacks. It's very simple. That will be the cue for your trainer to go from here with his little bale of hay. Oh, I got wet from that one. He will do a forward roll. Hop! Through here, diagonally to the other side, hopefully not hitting his partner. Well, actually, no, hopefully hitting his partner, just to make it more fun. When he gets over to this side, he will deposit the hay in here, so you can look after yourself, and eventually you will turn into a giant haystack. Get it? There you see. It's not just thrown together, this, you know? All right, it is. Okay. <laughs> 60 seconds to see how many of these you can get in those. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> You did the end of that in perfect time and it went fun house and the water went boom! It's brilliant. Hey, hey, it's fun house. Hey, hey there's a towel for you. There we are. How did we get on? Do you want to do this together or separately or what? How do you feel? Do you feel intelligent? Yeah, we did it together. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm getting out of the way if you're doing it together. Right. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Yeah. You got six. She got seven. Yeah. Yep. Yellow points at the gym. We run the fun. Yeah. The yellows had to catch hay fever in order to catch up. They're almost there. 25 points for the yellow team. Yeah. That was a great game. Enjoyed that. Okay, girls question. This will take us into the last game, which is over by the pool side. Bit of a dive. What kind of fever is also a shade of red? What kind of fever? <laughs> yes. Scarlet. Scarlet fever, well done! So they jump ahead again just when you thought it was safe for the yellows to catch up. 28 yellow, 75. Red's in the lead! Yeah! Well, they say fun house is a bit of a dive, but it proves the point in this next game. Come and join us! Yeah! Ahara! Oh, 
camera ahoy. Welcome along, welcome along to the sea to see how messy we can get our fellows here. It'll be their job in their boats with their own legs doing the pedal power work there to get across as far as they can to each and every bird's nest that you can see around the Funhouse Sea. They'll have to pull out one of the bird's eggs and then break it in their very own crow's nest, which they've got on their head, you see. Like the crow's nest you see at the top of a ship when they're searching around to see the pirates. Come in, number six. Number nine, are you in trouble? That's an old one, don't worry, we'll come back with that. And uh, you girls will have to count exactly how many have been burst. Very important mission for twins. And as I can see from here, it seems to be a bit of a rainstorm brewing. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> That was quite a storm, wasn't it? <laughs> quite a storm. Yeah. Okay, you girls are going to count how many eggs we had burst inside the crow's nest. We're going to give you a close-up camera for this. Off you go. But we got three! Yeah! <laughs> and we got five! Yeah! <laughs> and we got a chance to rerun the fun! Yeah! yeah! So messy, it should have been, are you sure? Not shipped ashore, but either way, it was 25 points to the yellows! Yeah! There they go, catching up again. Uh, you take your place, girls, and I'll ask you a question. What is the name for the object used to help land and moor a ship? Red. Anchor. Anchor is right, well done! 25 points! They've struck back again! 53 yellows, the reds have 100! And the girls have the go-karts for the Fun Cart Grand Prix. It's next. Bring them on. <laughs> them girls and the way they drive, eh? Friday afternoon, drive time. It's the weekend blast off. It means you guys get your helmets on and get ready to race around the track. Three laps, 25 points on the first lap. You grab them, they're all yours as long as they go in the pouch. Otherwise, it's ouch. I missed it. Second lap, 10 points. Third lap, go for it. Don't grab anything at all. Just go for the checkered flag. Who's going first then? Me, Pat. Okay, good luck. The boys! Can you right? Can you be really quiet while this is happening? Good, because we want you to be really noisy. Yellow's 53, red's 100, go!
some seriously fast red driving and it paid off as well. 25 points to the Reds! Yeah! All right, Stuart and Julie, let's add up your tokens now and see how many you got. Here we go. 125? Yep. You were too busy going fast round there, weren't you, Stuart? That's the trouble. And two tens, I think. Total score for the Reds, 170! Yeah! Okay, be lucky. Here we are. Tens. Twenties. Thirties. Oh, thank you. Twenty-five, 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 twenty-five. One eighty-three. You've done it. Oh, you're going to the bottom. I think it's better to say they're reasonably happy at this stage, but we'll get back to you on a positive commitment. Yes, you are. You're very happy. We'll make sure that you get one of these, which is a. Fun house, personal CD player, and a bag to put it in. And then we have a jacket for you each as well. Give us a 12 mil. Woo! There you go. Well played. I hope you've had fun. I'm sorry, because you were leading all the way. That's the way it goes at Fun House. Thanks for playing. See you later. Bye. Right, you two. One here, one there. Pay attention. Face the front. Look at TV World. Smile at your friends. And find out what's in the Fun House from Gary King. And you guys, come and join us! In the Flying Fox, you'll find a fantastic finger-licking party for you and your friends. Rise to the challenge in the Jungle Jump with this terrific travel alarm clock. And grab hold of this trendy gear when you beat off your opponents in the bull run. Steer a rocky road in the stone faces to a stunning surprise. Or bobsleigh your way to this snazzy swimming kit. Pass the test of the tumbling tube and this free cinema pass is yours. Net this brilliant basketball in the balloon tunnel. Then giddy up and find these free riding lessons in the pullovers. Munch the hungry burgers to the tube of this personal stereo and you'll be amazed in the monster maze when you pick up this fabulous flashing phone win a marvelous mystery and suspense weekend on the wild slide dart along the danger net and grab hold of this smart hold all belt along the skelter belter and step into these dm boots leap along the net ladder and draw to a close with this delightful drawing set then catch your jump with this camera set when you slip and slide your way to success yeah! Yeah! what a brilliant list of prizes what will you be going for jessica and nick Personal stereo. Yeah, personal stereo. So you can keep it all to yourself, yeah? Yeah. Well, you can't, because if you get the personal stereo, he gets one as well. I think I'm going for the camera part. Okay. One vote. Good. Well, this one's all right, isn't it? This is working okay, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed, we're in the right direction. Right, in the fun house, 15 price tags to look like this. One of them activates the secret power prize, which is follows. Gary. Megabytes, icons, floppy disks. You'll be an interactive whiz kid with this multimedia computer and colour printer. <laughs> Your own multimedia computer and printer, which is a brilliant, brilliant prize this week. Okay, how will you know when you've got it? When it makes this sound. <laughs> yes, I think we might hear that this week. <laughs> oh, that was that. Also, you get the little, the little cock a doodle -doo chicken thing comes on the screen as well and goes, rah, rah, but you won't see that because you'll be so busy running through. Now, there's one other thing to show them, but not you, and that's where... This tag is hidden, not this trendy watch tag, but the tag that activates the power prize. Close your eyes. No, it doesn't really matter, you can't see anyway. Just for you at home, now, where is it? Okay, so that's all sorted out. The only way you know is, as I say, when you grab it and you hear the special sound, then you bring it down, you give it to Martina, she looks at them all, gets them all in the right order for me, then we run through them all, and then we read a story and go and have a cup of tea, and you know, so on. Yeah, I'm rambling. Catch a plane. Yeah, catch a plane, yeah, catch a plane, we do all that. Yeah. Do you want to just face each other with your cameras? There you go. You can film each other now. It's your last look at each other before you split up. Who's going first? Me. Okay, feet on the steps, Jess, good luck. Not Two minutes. High five after three tokens, yeah. okay? No more than yeah. three tokens in one yeah. go. She goes, all right, stop yeah. the camera. Yeah. Go! Go!
brilliant run by the yellows there. Look at him. He's in a terrible tiz here. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, no problem. Come on, give them all to me. You come this side, sir. Me? Jessica's just going to have a little uh, lie down. Up you get. This is what you've managed to get. Remember, it's one each. You've got yourself a flashing phone each. DM boots each. Very, very fashionable now, those. Cinema passes each. Finger licking party each. Writing lessons each. The drawing set. The camera set. The mystery and suspense weekend. The personal stereo, yeah. And the Casper computer game, yeah. And talking of computers, you have a chance to win it. The power price sound was heard. Bring it on, Melody. Well, you're standing on all your prizes here. Don't worry about that because they're all yours. What you have to do is get this right. You can confer. You've got <laughs> 10 seconds, so think about it. Oi, come here. See myself. <laughs> are you ready? There are four metric measurements of length. Can you give three of them? Metric measurements. Volume. Oh, that's it. You're out of time. Measurements of length, metric style, are millimetre, centimetre, metre and kilometre, aren't they? <laughs> it's your metric, it's your length, you see? I knew we should have done feet and inches, which is what happened when I was at school. You see, they'd have been easy with that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, look, you don't need a computer. I'll add up your prizes for you and you've been brilliant. See you soon on Funhouse. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>